And so we've, we've seen the model of the car. What, what is your goal for that car? Well, this is um, initially put together as a wind tunnel model, in fact, to validate our computational fluid dynamics as we put together a concept for the 2012 Indy car. Okay, and so is your goal that parts of that car or the look of that car uh, are going to be what we see in two years? Well, we uh, have submitted it to the ICONIC committee for review and we're hoping that they select it uh, as the Indy car that they wish to see raced in 2012. Okay, and you said that uh, you're hoping for a little more diversity of body styles in 2012. How, what did you mean by that? Uh, absolutely. We, um, in the Delta Wing concept is that we will actually go open source with the uh, car itself. So basically, it's not a spec car. We, on day one, everybody gets delivered the same car. On day two, the diversity and the differentiation starts to happen with the proviso only that the designs are actually uh, published on our website. We will have published the entire design of the car uniquely on our website and uh, that will be the, the core kernel, if you like, of the open source. And so this will allow access to children, to students, to the auto industry, uh, you know, basically the media, or the race teams, and so manufacturing here in Indianapolis and Indiana and the wider country of America, um, this new IndyCar. So we could conceivably see 33 different body styles. You could absolutely conceivably see that. I, I suspect that um, often there will be uh, a convergence and a certain design will be the flavor of the month or whatever you like, but um, we will see um, some diversity uh, always, I think. So and you're taking open source to a whole new concept because uh, up until now, car designs and, and how they're made and, and the look has all been proprietary. You don't. You don't share those kinds of things, and you certainly don't copy from each other. So this is brand new. And this is a new concept in racing, and it's actually to align what we do in racing with the social trends where, you know, through through social media, everybody is sharing. That secrets are not exactly exciting anymore. You want to be able to tell your buddies about what you've just seen and who's doing what. That's the interest level. So racing, instead of being about a secret development, wants to move into an area where people actually can get to understand this information entertainment. So social media has pretty much influenced car design. You are right about that. <laughs> That's great. Now what about the idea of, uh, of even crowdsourcing in reverse and you get some of that, you get some ideas and you say, hey, this is a great idea. We're going to use this in our design. Uh, and, and in our protocol that we've been putting together, we would actually encourage that. And in fact, if a, let's take an example of a student at Purdue that comes up with a better front top wishbone and gets it approved and it's published and uh, it's used by all the teams because it's lighter and stronger and costs less money and so on and so on. And uh, that's, that student can receive a royalty for each part that is to that spec. Since every part that is manufactured to the drawings has to pass through the hands of Delta Wing for quality assurance, part numbering and unique identifier. Um, that way we actually know who's running what and we can track and control the process and uh, distribute the, uh, the royalties and accreditations appropriately. Plus it looks good on a resume. Plus it looks great on a resume. <laughs>